the reason that I take um, glycine, actually specifically trimethylglycine, is is actually to, to counter what I think might be going on with an NAD booster. Um, I'm certainly not an expert in, in glycine other, other than that, but I, I can talk about um, the trimethylglycine component if you like. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, so this is a big question in, in my field. So just to take a step back, my, my field and a lot of what my book is about is being able to trick the body into being hungry and having exercise. And one of the molecules that does that is NAD. Mm -hmm. uh, NAD uh, stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and we have it in our body. As we exercise, as we get hungry, it goes up. As we get older, it goes down. Uh, and it's needed for life. It's also needed for turning on these defensive enzymes that we work on called sirtuins. Now, to raise NAD levels, what we've done in my lab to mice for the last decade is we give them precursors to NAD. So we give them molecules like nicotinamide riboside or NR or nicotinamide mononucleotide, also known as NMN, not to be confused with m and um, <laughs> which will have the opposite effect. And uh, so NMN is, is what I take each day. I take a, a gram of it. But the thing with nicotinamide mononucleotide NMN is that it, it has this nicotinamide group on it. It hangs off the, the main part of the chemical. And it's the first bond to break. And so we see in animals and even in humans that the levels of nicotinamide go up quite rapidly after taking NMN or NR. And too, too high levels of nicotinamide are not good. Um, in part because the nicotinamide gets excreted through the kidneys and it's done so, that happens because it becomes methylated into methyl nicotinamide. Mm -hmm. And methyl nicotinamide has been used for, for years as a marker of all sorts of things, in, including at least experimentally for Parkinson's disease. But the concern that's, that's been talked about uh, in social media especially is, is this drain of methyl nicotinamide a problem? The, the methyl groups are are needed for the body. We need methyl for a whole range of things, including um, antioxidants. And uh, so as a precaution, I take trimethylglycine so that uh, I continue to give my body a source of methyl groups. Now, I don't know if that's true. Uh, people ask me all the time. I take it as a precaution because I know that trimethylglycine is not going to hurt me. Glycine is good, as you mentioned, Joe. Um, and the other thing is trimethylglycine is also known as betaine, uh, which on human cells is very good for them, um, including protecting them against stress. So I don't, I don't see any downside. It's not an expensive molecule. And the upside is that I'm preventing my body from being drained of methyl groups. But the reason that I can't say for sure that it's ne necessary, actually, is that our bodies can make methyl groups. There's a whole pathway. In fact, I did a PhD on it when I was in Australia 30 years ago. Um, but So I do take it as a precaution, um, knowing that, that it's probably not doing anything um, except goodness for my body. Mm 